hi naturals welcome to the channel my name is dima please before you continue watching kindly give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please hit the red button that says subscribe on your interface and also tap the bell icon this will notify you on my future uploads and lastly please share this video with your family and friends if you enjoyed watching it also please ensure you watch this video to the end as all instructions will be stated towards the end of the video in today's video we are going to be making a super potent moisturizing hairspray packed with a lot of nutrients for a better hair growth i promise you you will love this this spray is moisture protein balanced also this spray is for all hair types relaxed and natural hair can use this spray basically is for all hair types anyone can use it please take notes i know a lot of you will ask me in the comments so to begin my very first ingredient is fenugreek fenugreek seeds aka methy seeds fenugreek seeds are rich in folic acids vitamin a vitamin k and c and are a storehouse of minerals here's why it's great remedy to prevent hair fall fenugreek seed is a common spice used extensively in indian households but it is not just restricted to cooking regional delicacies you can extract its numerous benefits by using it in home remedies from aiding digestion to reducing hair fall they are the most effective remedies to treat hair fall issues Fenugreek contains large amounts of lecithin, which hydrates the hair and strengthens the roots or hair follicles. The seeds are also helpful in moisturizing the hair and bringing back the luster and bounce. So grab a jar, well sterilized like so, or any other thing you would love to use to make your hairspray so we are going to be using this jar with a tight lid and i'm going to be measuring out my fenugreek seeds into this jar i'm going to be making use of a teaspoon like so i'm going to be measuring two teaspoons or equivalently one tablespoon into the jar moving on to my next ingredient my second ingredient for this recipe is black seeds aka kalonji aka black cumin seeds they are basically great for hair growth and baldness up close here is what black seeds looks like beautiful right they are really beautiful i'm so sorry my lens isn't focusing of a truth god is amazing in all his creations most times i just sit and admire these seeds they are really beautiful to me or what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so i'm going to be using two teaspoons of kalonji seeds i'm going to be spelling out all these names on the screen so you don't get confused moving on to my third ingredient my third ingredient for this recipe is going to be hibiscus flowers dried hibiscus flowers as you can see as you already know on this channel i love hibiscus so much for the fact that it prevents premature graying of hair and it darkens hair over time that is just one reason why i love it so much up close that is what hibiscus flowers looks like please note that the more hibiscus flowers you add to your recipes the more concentrated your tea or spray becomes and it will stain so for this recipe i'm going to be using two flowers like so i just want these to be as diluted as possible as not to stain but if you want it more concentrated and staining you can go higher say up to five flowers after that i added hot water to the mix about 500 ml worth of hot water into that i stirred that to combine all the ingredients 
covered to infuse properly. As you already know, I love to infuse for long, say 8 hours to 12 hours. So after that time frame, 8 to 12 hours, here is what I have. And I will proceed immediately to sieve this. I'm going to be using my cheesecloth to sieve this just to avoid any particles. Please note that you can reuse your fenugreek and black seed after sieving. You can grind them and turn them to a paste. Sorry, grind them and turn them to a mask and use it on your hair. You can add aloe vera gel to this and grind just to give you that moisture protein balance you need for your hair. So after sieving, here is what I have. I'll proceed to pouring the spray into my spray bottle for easy application this trial fenugreek kalonji and hibiscus is something your hair needs in time like this we've all had our fair share of hair shedding it's an issue that is almost impossible to avoid because of the myriad factors that lead to hair fall Unfortunately, for some of us, the problem does not just go away and that is exactly why it's crucial to start taking care of your hair as soon as you notice the first sign of balding. This spray is perfect if you have thinning hair or balding. This spray helps with hair fall, dandruff and many scalp issues. You can't afford not to make this because the ingredients are simple and something you can find around you. Now you can store this for maximum of 5 days in the refrigerator. You can use it to hydrate your hair 2-3 to three times a week. Please don't overdo this as too much of a good thing is a bad thing as well. Just like my sister Nappy Fu would always say. So use everything in moderation. You can use this spray to hydrate your hair before applying your leave-in conditioner and sealing in your hair with oil. You can also use it as the last rinse on your wash day. Let me know how you would love to use this spray in the comment section below. Please let's keep this conversation popping in the comment section below ask me your questions is there anything you would love to ask me do you have a video suggestion bring it on on the comment section let me also know if you have tried this trial before fenugreek kalonji and hibiscus this is something i would love to know share your experiences with me how did it work for you please share come let's just in the comment section one thing I know about this spray is that it helps with hair thickness, especially areas where you have hair thinning. Concentrate this spray there and in a short while, you see hair filling up in those areas. It is very safe to use this spray for postpartum hair loss. If your hair is shedding so much, try your hands on this tea. Remain consistent. Consistency is key guys. If you try this tea and your hair stays shed, I suggest you trim your ends as split ends will always cause you to shed or lose more hair. A lot of us shy away from trimming our ends. Split ends is an enemy and they must be cut off. I've been sharing posts on this on my Instagram. For those of you who follow me, already know this if you haven't followed me on instagram kindly check my screen to see my instagram handle and go follow me i post a lot there and i also teach about hair care thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next video by god's grace bye